Alright, so today I want to break down my thoughts about how the Call of Duty community is run by 14 and 15 year old douchebags. Alright, so here we go. I just want to start off by saying uh, hi to all my new subscribers. I know some new subscribers from the uh, in real life videos I've been doing, so hey to all you guys. And I just want to say uh, I'm glad you subscribed and let me know in the comments of what you guys want to see because I need ideas because it's not easy to come up with ideas all the time. But anyways, I want to get into the topic of the community and why it's so screwed up right now. Okay, so, over the past year, I'd say the community has gotten a lot, a lot worse. Okay, what I want to start, I want to start by talking about a video that I posted a few days ago uh, called How Kids React When They Hit Sick Clips. Now, I know most of you guys saw it, and uh, it was basically just me, like, freaking out insanely, and it was actually really freaking funny. Like, I watched it back so many times. And I laughed, like, every single time. And I'm the one that made the video. So, if I think it's funny, and I can watch myself back over and over again. A bunch of you guys said it was funny. But then, the day after, uh, for some reason, it blew up. And I couldn't figure out why. So, I went and looked through the comments. And there was a bunch of freaking friendly comments about telling me to get cancer and go die in a hole. So, I was like, oh, yeah, this is just what I want to wake up to. A bunch of cancer comments. So I looked through the comments, and a bunch of these comments were made from almost a bunch, not every single member, but a ton of members from the Genesis clan. As well as members from Envy, Yugal, just, just, you, uh, Yugal Envy, he's the only one, he's a douchebag if you're watching this, Yugal. I've always liked your videos and your edits, but I don't really want to go get cancer, and you and your friends telling me to go get cancer doesn't really make me want to watch your videos just saying little uh promotion tip there uh so yeah yugal envy a couple obey members in specific obey shady uh he told me that my sense of humor was retarded and this video is freaking dumb if you don't like the video don't freaking watch it and you don't need to go tell all your friends to go dislike it and hate on it dude it's just a video for all my subscribers that watched it it's funny it says, I just added like a high-pitched voice, and it's like a kid freaking out because he hit a sick clip. It's pretty funny, and if you don't think it's funny, well then maybe you should go get cancer. No, I'm not kidding. Please don't get cancer, that's stupid. I don't know why you would ever say in a comment, go get cancer. All these 14 and 15 year old kids that commented on this video from Soar, Envy, Obey, and Genesis, they're all like, scared, okay? I'm not saying they're scared of like, conflict because obviously they get in YouTube conflict every day but you wouldn't see these kids walking down the street from their freaking elementary schools that they go to because they're 14 and 15 and walk up to some guy on the side of the road who's 19 which is my age and be like yo bro you should probably get cancer because you're not funny and if you say that in real life someone's gonna beat the crap out of you so, what makes you think you can say it in a comment of a video? I don't know, that's what the call community thinks they can do. They think they're tough, and they hide behind their little you go one 2 3 names, and their Obey Shady names, and they troll on the internet because they think they're tough. And they're in these big clans, so they immediately have power over everyone. Like, they're superior, like they're ten times greater than everyone in the Call of Duty community. People in Obey and envy and people I know some great people in some high clans that are stay humble and don't think they're like the shiz and that everyone should bow down to them but a lot of people out there do they think that they're like the world's greatest player and that nothing is better than them and everyone should probably just look up to them because they're number one and they want you to know that now I did expect hate on some of my videos. I was prepared for hate and I can deal with hate perfectly good. Like I am perfectly capable of dealing with a bunch of douchebags commenting on my videos saying about how this is stupid and oh it's so dumb. Like honestly get a ribbon. Go, go to the dollar store and buy yourself a freaking ribbon. Get a little ribbon that says oh I'm in obey and walk around the streets dude. Step outside with your obey ribbon on or you're like Genesis ribbon on what the no why would you put a Genesis ribbon on but go step outside with your little clan ribbon on walk around with your clan t-shirts and see how cool you are in real life but no the hate wasn't the thing that ticked me off the thing that ticked me off is all these guys decided they would band together and flag the video 
So the video is now no longer on YouTube and nobody can watch it because they flagged it for being inappropriate when clearly it's not inappropriate and why would YouTube remove it when there's nothing bad in it just because a bunch of kids who are higher up in the community and can get a bunch of little toddlers from their elementary school playground swinging on the swings to flag my video and get it taken down. What is up with that? And I'm sorry if I'm like scaring all my new subscribers. I'm usually not this serious. Uh, so yeah. But it's seriously dumb. Like, oh, this has been a topic in the community for a long time. Like, Obey Big E just did a commentary about it. Like, how you have to be in like Soar to get into FaZe because FaZe only looks at Soar and they won't look at Obey. And this is the hierarchy. Everyone in these higher clans thinks they're better than everyone in the lower clans. And if one person screws up or says something stupid, you're blacklisted forever. And don't ever try to make well with those people because you can't make well with them. They'll hate you forever no matter what you did. If you grabbed their cupcake when they were eating it and it accidentally spilt and fell on the ground, they're gonna remember that and they're never gonna talk to you again. So yeah, that's my comparison to uh, cupcakes and the community. But I'm seriously pissed about how this video got removed from YouTube. I put effort into it. I mean, like, everyone puts effort into their videos, and even if it's not a huge deal that you put, like, a ton of effort in, it's not your, like, masterpiece, but it's still annoying when it gets taken down. My videos are meant to be funny, not to annoy people. So just chill out and take a chill pill and enjoy them next time. I think this community is pretty much ruined. So, uh, yeah, that's been this commentary for today. Hopefully we can redeem ourselves and pick up the freaking cupcake. Alright, so yeah, guys, uh, if you just subscribed to me, please leave new video ideas. I'm sorry for yelling this whole commentary, but it needed to be said. So, if you have ideas that you want me to do, like in real life skits, uh, or commentaries, or minis, or whatever you want me to do, just post it in the comments. Uh, this has been Zach or Jam. Uh, peace!